Today we're going to show you how to take a brand new cast iron pan and make it non-stick. One of the things you'll notice is that when you first buy it, it has really rough coating on there and it's because of the casting process. It's cast in sand and they do that to keep the seasoning so it sticks. And the problem is all your food sticks too. So we're going to show you how to take that off and make it smooth and non-stick. So what we're going to use is a Avanti quick strip disc. I got it at Home Depot for about six bucks and what it'll allow you to do is sand that off and it works a lot better than those wire brushes that they can get. I want to make sure that we're safe. When I did this the first time, I didn't use a breathing mask and I really regretted it. The other thing you want is some goggles. Make sure you don't get any of that stuff in your eyes. So what we're going to do is get rid of this label and then we're going to grind out that top layer so we can make it really smooth. We're going to do the sides and the bottom. This is going to take a little while. So you'll see pretty quick that this was not the right way to do it. If you take that strip disc and have it completely flat against the cast iron, it just bounces around. I found it worked a lot better if I grabbed it with my feet and then used the strip disc on an angle. Now that means you're not going to get as big of a surface area, it's going to take a little while, you're going to end up going over all of these spots multiple times, but eventually you'll get it done. About this point in the process, you're going to start wondering, why am I even doing this? But you have to keep in mind that you're going to have a nonstick pan when you're finished. This is going to be a pan that your kids are going to fight over someday. Okay, so after 10 or 15 minutes, we're able to get it pretty smooth. Now you're never going to get it perfect, but you'll be able to get rid of most of it and that'll get you a much better nonstick finish. People will tell you that you should never do this because your seasoning won't stick. But you know what? When your seasoning sticks really well, do you know what else sticks really well? everything else. Once you're done grinding it out, it's time to clean it well so that way you don't get any of that dust in your final finish. Coat it with a thin coat of oil and make sure you get all the sides and then flip it upside down and bake it for 450 degrees for about an hour. I prefer to do it on the grill so I don't smoke up the house. So this is what it looked like before I seasoned it. One seasoning, three, and five. Now at this point I'd also used it to cook. It doesn't take long and you're on your way to having a nonstick finish that's good enough for your eggs. And that's as good as Teflon right there. Now if you like your new cast iron pan, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you want to see more videos about grilling, smoking, and cooking with fire, go ahead and hit subscribe because there's more videos to come.